Hello friends, am I trying to trick this HP into thinking it's an Apple product? No, but a Hackintosh build did cross my mind. Besides, how hard could it be? You know, making something out of nothing takes a little creativity sometimes. Especially if you had found some computers on Craigslist and bought, well, 60 of them for a buck apiece. When HP came up with that slogan, reInvent, uh, I'm almost positive this is not what they had in mind. I told the fellow I bought them from, this is a cool find, but I just need to restore and somehow make them cool again. And I think some of them turned out kind of cool. In case you are new here, here's a few examples. Believe it or not, this is not one of the cleaner computers out of stack, but it won't be long and it will shine like new. Capacitors seem to be okay, so I replaced the CMOS battery, flashed the BIOS, unassembled, and took it outdoors to hit it with some compressed air. the Apple logo from vinyl so it could be easily traced. I know it's not a great trace but it's the inside line that counts anyways. Now just cut it out with a Dremel and grinding wheel and clean it up with a metal file. If anything, my HP Hackintosh should look good. I sanded it up to my liking and then I hit it with some paint plus primer spray paint I bought from Walmart. Now I just put the PC back together while the paint dries. RGB and a see-through acrylic window and a few vinyl stickers and our HP slash Hackintosh should be reinvented. The software side, well let's just say if you're using old unsupported hardware like me, there's a hard way and there's a harder way. One way requires you owning a Mac and downloading a free OS and the other way is downloading from Hackintosh Zone and configuring one of their distros that is already created on Windows for people like me that do not have access to their own Mac. But keep in mind, OS X is not a plug and play operating system and is specifically made for the hardware that they use in specific machines. So basically, Hackintosh is a bootloader that spoofs the Mac operating system to believing it's being ran in a true Apple product. And that's where it gets tricky. You have to map your own hardware manually sometimes, and if you're not familiar with this kind of stuff like me, you'll burn up many hours on Google trying to figure this stuff out. I'll leave some links in the description in case the Hackintosh software catches your eye. And even though I've had Sierra and High Sierra running on here buttery smooth, I just don't have a compatible graphics card. I've tried NVIDIA GT1030, NVIDIA GT730, and ATI Radeon HD7450 with no avail, greatly reducing my chances to use Final Cut Pro, or even a non-glitchy game of chess. Maybe I have to drop down to a lower OS like Mountain Lion, or maybe you know how to fix it here. If so, drop a comment. I could use the help. Thanks. 
I hope you enjoyed this HP restoration, even if you're not much of a fan of Apple products. Make sure to hit the like or no like button on the way out. Thanks for watching.